Good morning, class. Now let's review our lesson about telling the time. Last meeting we discussed on how to read the time using the long hand clock and the short hand clock. Now let's review on how to read the time. All right, so in this side here, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we call this one as past. And this area on the right hand, from number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we call this one 2. Now let's read together. 5 past. Please repeat. 5 past. This one, we call this one 10 past. Please repeat, 10 past. Number three here on the clock, you read this one as a quarter past. A quarter past. And the number four on the clock, you read this one as 20 past. 20 past. Why 20? Because we call this, we read this one as 5, 10, 15, 20. Now this 5 will be 25 past. Alright. 25 past. And number 6 is the last one on the past left hand side. We call this one as half past or 30. Half past or 30. Now let's move on to the right hand side of the clock. Number 7 stands for 25 to. So we will use the word to this time, not anymore past. Because we are on the right hand of the clock. So we read this one as 25 to. Next. Number eight, 22, 22. Number nine, a quarter two, a quarter two. Number 10, 10, two, 10, two. Number 11 is five, two, five, two. And number 12, if the clock, Long hand strikes at number 12, you say o'clock, o'clock. All right, now let's move on. Now, what's the time? Look at the clock and tell what's the time. The time is, it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Great job. Next, what's the time? Look at the clock. The time is, it's five past nine. It's five past nine. How about this one? What's the time? Look at the clock. The short hand is in number six. And the long hand is in number two. So you read this one as, it's 10 past 6. 10 past 6. Now let's move on. What's the time? Look at the clock. The short hand strikes at number 7 and the long hand strikes at number 3. So you read this one as it's a quarter past 7. It's a quarter past seven. What's the time? The short hand strikes at number two and the long hand strikes at number four. What time is it? Can you guess? All right, so the time is it's 20 past two. 20 past two. Why 20? 
because you count this one as 5, 10, 15, 20. So this one is 20 and this one is 2. So you will say it's 20 past 2. All right. How about this one? The long hand strikes at 5 and the short hand strikes at 11. How do you read this one? So let's read. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you will say it's 25 past 11. 25 past 11. All right. Next, what's the time? Last time, teacher A told you if the long hand strikes at number 6, you call it half past. And the short hand strikes at number 3, you will say it's half past 3. Half past 3. How about if the clock short hand strikes at number 8? And the long hand strikes at number seven. What's the time? The time is it's twenty five to eight. Twenty five to eight. Why twenty five? Seven, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five. 7 is 35, and the shorthand strikes at number 8, so 20, 25 to 8. Why 25 to 8? Why 25 to 8? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, how, how is it? Why it's not 7? Why it's not 8? 35 because the remaining time here we have 5 10 20 25 so it means 25 minutes more it will become 8 already all right so there are 25 minutes left then the time will be come 8 all right how about this one? The time is, it's 20 to 6. 20 to 6. Why 20 to 6? Because the remaining is 5, 10, 20. Huh? 5, 10, 20. 20 to 6. 5, 10, 15, 20. From 8 to 9, you will count 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, and 20. So it means, because this is 2, 20 to 6. It means you still have 20 minutes more to strikes the clock two six all right next what's the time this is two don't be confused this is here two and this is he this part here are past this here this part here is past and this part here is two so this one is two so we will use how many minutes more before it will become 5? How many minutes left? So we have 5, 10, 15, right? So we have 15. So teacher A said if the long hand strikes at number 9, you still have 15 minutes more. So you call it quarter, right? Quarter. So when it's when we say quarter two, it means 15 minutes left. You call it quarter. So the shorthand strikes at number five, you will say it's a quarter to five. It's a quarter to five. 
all right. Don't be confused about the time. Now look at this one. It's 10 to 12. It's 10 to 12. Why 10? Not 10 because of the 10 number. 10 because 5, 10. It means 10 minutes more. 10 minutes, it will become 12 o'clock. This The time here is, is what time? The time here is 11.50. The correct time here, if you read the clock, it's 11.50. It's 11.50. So we say it's 10 to 12 because 10 minutes more, it will become 12 o'clock. That's why we read the clock. It's 10 to 12. All right. Next. What's the time? It's 5 to 4. It's 5 to 4, not because the sh shorthand strikes at number 4. 5 to 4 because this one, 11 to 12, is 5 minutes only. 5, right? So 5 minutes more, it will become 4 o'clock. Or you, you can say it's 3.55. 3.55 or 5 to 4. 5 minutes more, it will become 4 o'clock. Alright. Now, can you guess what time do you read your books? Can you tell me what time do you read your books? Oh, you don't read your books. Okay, so you can write here. Maybe you can you will read your books 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. All right. What time do you go to bed? All right. So you go to bed 7 o'clock. 7.30 or half past 30. Or you can say, I go to bed at quarter to 8. All right. How about this one? If you say 9, you call this one 15 or quarter past, right? 30 or you say half past. Next, what time do you get up? Or you can say half past 6, half past 6, or you can say quarter to seven. All right. What time do you have breakfast? Sometimes you do your breakfast at 7.30 or half past seven. Or you can say quarter to seven. It means 6.45. Okay. What time do you go to school? What time do you study English? Oh, right now, our time for English class, what time? It's 12.30 to 1.30. So how do you read 12.30? Half past 12. Or you can say, yes, it's correct. If you say 12.30, yes, it's correct. Or you can also say half past 12. My class in English is half past 12. All right. Now, there will be no homework for you for today, so I want you to enjoy your Christmas Eve, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye!